Hello, uh, today I'm going to do a little review um, on the Darn Tough Socks. Um, that's the name of the company, the Darn Tough Sock Company. And uh, I have a bunch of their socks and I really enjoy them. Uh, so I thought I'd do a review. I've had them a little bit over a year now. Um, they're made for almost, they've been made for almost 40 years in Northfield, Vermont. Um, that's a real big thing to me because I like to buy American made if I can, uh, especially if they're good quality. Uh, I, uh, I like to support my country if I can. Uh, I think everybody should do that uh, as long as they got good quality. Um, one thing that these socks have is an unconditional guarantee for life. Uh, they're, what they say in their warranty is our conditional lifetime guarantee is simple and without strings or without strings or conditions. If our socks are not the most comfortable, durable, and best fitting socks you have ever owned, return them for another pair. Uh, and I've all I haven't never had to return a pair yet. I've had all of my darn tough socks for a little bit over a year now, and haven't had any issues with them. I'm very pleased with them. Um, I have looked at uh, other people that have returned them because they've got, say, like holes in them or something like that, or the come on down or something, uh, and they had no issues returning them. <clears throat> and they uh, they don't ask questions or anything. They just send you another pair. Uh, from my understanding, is you have to pay for the shipping to get the sock to them, and they'll send you a new pair back. They'll cover the shipping back. Uh, that's from what I understand from what I've done review uh, inter uh, from what I reviewed over the internet um, To send them back um, From what I've done my investigating you got to go online and you have to fill out a, a warranty form and Then you send them back to them and usually within about 15 days. You'll get your socks back um, Now of course, they're not going to cover them if you lose them uh, or if you take a scissors to them and cut them shorter or something like that But if you wear a hole on them or anything like that, they'll cover them uh, And from what I've seen on the internet, they, they don't ask questions or anything. They just replace them So they, they seem like a very good company um, <clears throat> I would probably wait because of the price of postage to get You know more than just one pair that has a hole on them I'd wait until maybe two or three pairs get a hole in them and then send them all together to combine the shipping uh, it says now uh, nowadays most of the socks that you buy in the stores are made in China so uh, I'm very pleased that they make them in the United States and they've been doing it for like 40 years that's a big thing for me they, <clears throat> they're made real well I have no complaints about the way they're made and they fit really good uh, when I first got them they're, they felt a little bit snug but a few months, you know, later, they, they fit perfect. So I would go by the sizing that they recommend um, they on their website uh, for you to get. And I, I followed their guidelines, and uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, <clears throat> because of they're made out of wool, um, they have a lot of... They dry very fast, and so they they prevent your feet from stinking. Um, if you're and so like if you're going to use these for camping or whatever they can be used for if you don't want to if you want to cut your how many much stuff you're carrying with you you can get by wearing these for a couple days and your feet won't stink um, uh, one thing that is kind of bad um, <clears throat> it's not really bad because they're guaranteed for life but um, the price is pretty steep on them uh, but they are a high quality sock, they're an American company, and they're very well made. Uh, and once you wear them for a while, I think you'll agree with me, um, they feel real well on your feet. They fit well, and they, I don't know how they do it, but the uh, bottoms, they seem real soft and cushiony. They're, they're just a nice, nice sock to have on compared to the old cotton socks that I used to wear. Um, I... <clears throat> They tell you to wash them in warm water and tumble dry or line dry. I uh, do all my laundry in cold water and I've been doing this ever since I've got them and I haven't had no issue with that. Um, and I, I line dry all mine and when I wash them I turn them inside out 
and then when I line dry them, I turn them, turn them the right way they're supposed to be, and then line dry them. And I don't, you don't get no shrinkage or anything, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, don't, in fact, I would say they probably they might loosen up just a little bit compared to when they're brand new, but that's a that's a good thing because when they come new, they're really snug and they fit really tight. Um, but after you wear them a little bit, they they get to where they're feeling really good. Um, I'm pretty rough on my socks because I use them on a farm and in a factory, and in the factory I have steel-toed shoes. Uh, I don't know if any of you have, wear, uh, have worn or do wear steel-toed shoes, but sometimes after you have steel-toed shoes for a long time, the liner inside where your toenails are gets worn off, and then they start wearing on your sock. And I've had in the past when I used to be an auto mechanic uh, wearing steel-toed shoes, I could wear a hole in a sock within a day uh, but that's just the shoes and stuff but um, I don't I haven't wore a hole in any of these socks yet and they're over they're over a year old uh, and uh, I'm guessing they'll go another two or three years before I get a hole in them because they look really good so um, that's they seem real tough um, I can't explain to you. They it tells you on their website how they make them. It's a I don't know that much about that stuff. You can go online and and get that. They're they're made from 100% merino merino wool, um, fine gauge, uh, fine micron. I guess they're real fussy about their wool. Uh, so they they buy it from all over um, wherever they get the highest quality. Uh, I also wanted to mention one thing I forgot here. Um, when I was younger, I don't know if the wool was different back then, but my when I used to wear wool, it used to make my feet itch all the time, and I don't get none of that with these socks. It must be because this is a finer grade wool. Um, so don't be afraid of that. And another thing I, is I wear these socks year-round, summer and winter. Uh, some people think, well, you wear wool socks in the summer. Uh, but actually because of the the way wool is made it actually they keep you cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter uh, And if you get your feet wet, you can take these socks off and hang them up, you know somewhere uh, Near the furnace or whatever or fireplace or whatever and they dry like real quick. They don't take hours to dry They dry real fast uh, So that's just another thing I think that I wanted to mention so like the only thing I would add have a complaint or I'm sure a lot of you might have a complaint about is the price uh, they range around twenty dollars give or take some uh, but that is a lifetime guarantee uh, so they'll be the last socks you'll ever need to buy most likely unless the company should have to go out of business but I don't see that happening uh, they've been in business for almost 40 years and I'm guessing they're not going to be going out of business anytime soon so they seem like a very reputable company and I'm very pleased with their product. Um, I'm not uh, connected with this company at all. Uh, these are just something that I bought because I'm rough on socks and I wanted a sock that would last me for a long time. And I think you guys would be very pleased with these. Um, guys and girls and uh, kids and everything. They got, they got socks for everything. They, um, as you can see some of these are taller and some are shorter and they come in all different colors. Um, so I wear these daily. Uh, I'd like to get a few more pairs. Uh, and then I can, uh, once I wear out, I'll wear my other socks once in a while and get them wore out and I won't replace them. I'll just keep these. Uh, it'll make more room in my sock drawer. Um, so I wanna give these this company a big thumbs up. I'm really happy with their product and I'd recommend them to anybody. Um, so that's about it for today. Uh, big thumbs up to the Vermont uh, Darn Tough Sock Company. Uh, did an excellent job and I'm very pleased with their product. Uh, so thanks for watching everybody and please stop by again. Thank you.